Kubor Nagashlem to Udongsan Hima. U Dr. Ricky AJ Singkan Ubade Ukartong ka voice of the People Party Uban Ireng Yaki election MP Shaka Ying Dorbar Parliament Kaban Salong Haka Kat Kandaitari Ubanaya Yong Arja Arposao Napo Kawan Shilong Parliamentary Constituency Ula Ong Baka Jinglong Jingman Jong Kajala Kade Kawai Niki Dao Kabala Kanyat Bat Penlong Yau Boon Rung Shapo Kajali Jong Kasan Perte Haba I Jinkran Hakalumpung Bane Perkat Bat Yakran Halor Kajing Pen Kre but Kajinya Kun Yaki election MP Kalok Sabha, Shapo Kaying Dorbar Parliament, Balala Baneshimenta, Daki Kirtong, but Kinong Mikmat, Naki Seng Baper Baper, Kibanya Kun Yakateka election, Napo Kawan Shilong Parliamentary Constituency, Balapan Long Dakasan Kadev College, U Doctor Sinkon, Ulapan Pau Bakajala Kalong Kabadan Bok, Bandon Ya Unong Yalam, but Ubadeiru, U President Kavipp, Uba Adan Mila Basayamot. Ubalong Ubrio Uba Smothu, Yakajindan Kam Hapo Kasan Perte, Kata Ban Pankaladur, but Ban Wandra, Kasan Hima Hapo Kajala Kabakut. Shushu U Doctor Riki, Ula Ong, Bakajala, Megalia, Kadegajala, Kabala Shakar Ku, Ha Uble, Hakaspa, but Kajindan Yakame Mariang, but Kimarpo Kando, Henry Ulabu Jinkalipat, Bakajala Kadonsha A, Watla Kalaya Linti, La Sanpo Artali Kisnem. But Ula Ong Bakalong Kaba Smusi, Ban Kran Shapang Kajinglong Jingman, Jungajala, Kumbakalong Minta. Namar kadi kajala ka baduk tam, bat kajing hiar hakaliang kapuli ka puti, bat hakibabun kiliang kajala ka lahiar sya traidu, bat kane baro kadi namar kajing bom nang, jong ka sorkar ban sensyare kajala. Ula ongru balada ki pat ba ki jit ban penjob ya ukum ukertong, unya keren bat banjur hakabede bat kajing kerduk kam kerduk jam ki samla hapok kajala, ban wanra kilat kilenti ban weng ya kani kajing e. A very good morning to each one of you. Due to the constraint of time, I will straight away share with you the thoughts that I have and share what the party, the voice of the people has for the state. Well, my presentation would be divided into different parts. Let me begin with the first part, which is about myself. I would start off a uh, very brief, a brief testimony of myself. I've been a teacher for the last 28 years, and I'll continue to be so, and uh, also a servant of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has been my hope, and I'm sure the principles that he has laid down for my life can also be applied even to a nation. I've never been involved in politics, tell you. Uh, as uh, a citizen of this great nation, I would simply go and exercise my right as a citizen to vote on the day of the election, vote for a person or vote for a political party. But then I believe that in life, there is always the push and the pull factors in life. And the condition of the state of ours I've lived my life this, you know, 52 years along with the state, just 15 days elder to the state. So I've seen how our state has grown or not grown over the years. The condition of the state of us has been one of the reasons that has pushed me to come into electoral politics. And there is a pull factor which I would, I'm glad that in our state we have a leader, our president, Baden Malabasaymoy, whom we've been friends for quite a long time, and I've seen in this person who really understand the need of the R, that is the politics that we are talking today, that our party has been professing and he has been professing right from 2010 about the need for clean politics. And it is this that has also been the reason to pull me to this ideology. The second part, what do we have as, as, as a state? When we look at our state, I believe you all agree with me that our state is endowed with, uh, you know, with vast and rich resources. You talk about natural resources, talk about mineral resources, you talk about water resources, and you talk about the human resources. Indeed, there's none like our state, I would say. 
after traveling, after seeing different places within India and few countries outside of India, I would say that God has really indeed blessed our state. But then, where are we after 50 years, 52 years? When we look at the reports that uh, have been coming from different agencies, which speaks about the condition of our state, it's really, really sad and very depressing looking at the condition of our state. We are the poorest state. We talk about education where we, we, are, we, be so, we were so proud of you know, the, our state, especially Shillong, which was once upon a time the capital uh, of, uh, the educational capital of this part of India. But where are we now? We are the bottom. Talk of governance, we are right down the bottom. Talk about health care, health services, we are also at the bottom. Talking about cleanliness, we are so proud that, you know, our society, we, we talk, talk about cleanliness, cleanliness where we, we only do it once, once maybe, maybe in a year, year. And, and the same, same person who cleans in the morning, the same person would, would be the reason for the dirt and the, and the filth that is around us. And uh, when, when we look at uh, food, food security, 81% of our people, of our people they, they are in, in, the the primary primary se in the primary sector. sector. But, but sad to say, report says that we are second from the bottom. When it comes to food security, this is as per the National Food Security Act. Furthermore, when we talk about uh, the, our society, it's really sad. 41% of a household in this state, they are, all, they are female headed household. And 42% of our population live in those households. And you can imagine the condition of those kind of household where the woman has to take the responsibility of managing the entire household. Indeed, and no wonder we are a state which is where the poverty is really sad. Education, we are so poor. Dropout rate is always on the rise. So these are the picture of our state after 52 years. But as a party, we do have few solutions to offer. Talking about human capital, which we are so, we have such a vast potential of human resource, where the report says that uh, around 65% of the population in our state, they are the youth. So if we cannot handle this rich and you know, uh, resource, if we are not able to, you know, to mold this uh, resource, to channelize this resource, our future is really at stake because these, this resource can make or break the future of our state. So as a party, we are really concerned with the youth of our state and that is why we would like to take up issues where we would like to engage with the government to ensure that the central educational institutions, they also cater to the needs of our people in terms of, for example, seats for learning, employment, and even the courses of study. And uh, when we look also at what is happening around the world, especially when we look at the, what is going on, especially in the eastern part of, of the world, you know, Southeast Asia, East Asia, you will find this part of the, the world is going through a difficult time in the days to come. Why I'm saying this is because the, there's this, you know, the working population is, you know, on the decline, and therefore we see as a party that there is a scope for our youth. We can always export human resource, but to do so, we say as a party that we should prepare our youth, you know, with some of the soft skills. We know that as a society, we are known for our hospitality, and together with the soft skills that, you know, we can provide, 
through the various institutions that we have in our state, both the central, the state, and some private institutions, I'm sure we can prepare our youth to move out of the nation. That is what we see. And uh, talking about uh, health, we seriously need, need to improve the Human Development Index in our state, which is really pathetic. And in the light of this, what we see as a, as a party is that we know that the, uh, uh, you know, the traditional health practices is one where we can really also, you know, look to. Why? Because it has been known, you know, looking at some of the statistics, around 170 countries in the world have also looked at the, you know, the traditional uh, medical practices or the traditional medical knowledge as an alternative. And in our state, we do have many, you know, such uh, practitioners all over the state. And we believe that when we also talk about sustainable development, we believe that, you know, if we promote these people, we can also ensure protection of our forests. Yeah, that is where they get all the requirements for different kinds of, to treat different kinds of ailment. So that is on the health. Uh, then we also see that uh, as a party, we've seen, you know, the reason why our state is really going down. And we see that, you know, the work culture and work ethics is an um, issue which we seriously need to think. Where we cannot talk of productivity, we cannot talk of, you know, rising up, climbing up the ladder, if we continue with the present work culture, work ethics. So this is where we would want, you know, we would like to take the lead in this and to, uh, to share to people and to encourage people, encourage the youth, encourage each one of us and to also uh, let the people know about the dignity of labor, where it is very important, doesn't matter which um, job you're holding, but we believe as a party that what is important is whatever job, no matter, to respect the job, to do it with all sincerity, hard work, and with dedication. And this is, uh, you know, another issue which we see that we can, uh, we will take the state forward. And our state, which is uh, where tourism has so much of potential. But what we also see is that along with tourism, it is important for, you know, to develop the, for example, the Shillong Airport. For 40 years, we are seeing this airport, by now actually, it should have been an international airport. This is what we would like to see. Where this is really serious. Where there's no state, no country, where, which talks about tourism, but then- Dr. Ricky, the airport, kindly continue. Airport, okay, yeah. So, and then, well, there are many, but just before I take my seat, I brought here, you know, in this bag, something which, as a party, we would really love to see, with so much of potential that we have. We, as a party, we would like to see innovation in our state. But there's so much that we can do. This is a box, Meglai in a box, where we have all the products that, you know, from the state. You talk about ginger, you talk about uh, cinnamon, you talk about black pepper, and so on and so forth. These, if processed and packed neatly and presented to the world, I'm sure this will really boost the agricultural sector and also boost the rural economy and can also take care of the unemployment that we are talking about. Employment is there, opportunities is there. It's just that we need to see. And so as a party, this is what we present to you. And, uh, and finally, our party has a vision, and that vision is to revive, to restore, and transform Meghalaya through the principle of 
clean politics. Thank you all.